And you don't ever not think about it. Um, there is that extra outside pressure from the media and, you know, the expectation to walk away the same ranking that you went in as. So obviously coming away first. Um, but before my final, I just went up to Chris Mooney, my coach, and I was like, you know what? It is what it is. All I can do is give 100%. If it's not what you want it to be, it's what I want it to be. And I'm happy that I've just made a final. Um, and even in saying that, I before the comp even started, I looked at him and I said, I just want to make a final. And if I do that, I'm happy. And he was like, I have a feeling you're going to do a lot more than that. <laughs> so it's good that he had the confidence in me. But, you know, I think that's just me trying to take down that pressure that is built there. Mm. Um, but yeah, walking out for that final, it was just the adrenaline. I actually had bruises all down my legs by the end of the meet from like, you know, hitting yourself behind the block. <laughs> you're that hyped and you're that ready to go. You don't actually realize how hard you're hitting yourself. So the race, um, I've actually had a few people ask me to take them through the races and I can't remember anything because your body and your brain's just ready to go. And as soon as you hear the gun go, you just, everything goes out the window and you just do what you're used to doing.